Hello, my friends, searchers of light and truth. Today is kind of a piss and vinegar day for me, a little bit. I'm uh, doing good, but, you know, sometimes all the dark energy in the world builds up on us. All the craziness, all the madness. And we got to get a little catharsis going on, you know? You gotta purge some of that out. Today I've been doing that. Listening to some nine inch nails and just kicking back and lifting weights and you know, just meditating. <laughs> Today I'm gonna share with you a poem that I wrote a few days ago actually. Uh I'm an American that's full of disgust and anguish because of Trump, what he's done to this country. He's turned like these, I mean, a lot of the people that voted for him, he voted for him, they voted for him because he just straight up lied, of course, you know, <clears throat> and, uh, but for the people that are still supporting him, I mean, they're like Jonestown people at this point. They really did drink the Kool-Aid. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's kind of frightening. Obviously, the man is a textbook definition of a malignant narcissist. He's a flim-flam man, a snake oil salesman, a fucking... He's, he's, he's a mentally retarded antichrist, is what he is. But anyway. So, yeah, I deal with all these... Watching all this bullshit unfold every day as our country loses its en entire reputation and uh, forget about any moral standing we may have had in the world. That's all gone. I always knew America would end the way the Roman Empire did. You know, they call Afghanistan. Uh, it, they even speak of it as like some kind of prophecy, as the place where empires go to die. Well, here we are. Um, anyway, I'll quit my little ramble. This poem, and I do this out of disgust and love, honestly, because I don't want to see all these people go to hell when they die, which is what is going to happen. <laughs> it just is. It just is. I'm sorry. I'll tell you the truth. The lost and angry Trump people. More fodder for your moral quandary. The dotard's delight. The profane becomes sacred. As minds are lost into delusion and hate. The ruiner of souls placates the ego to bind your psyche. A primrose path straight to the gates of hell. Did you make a conscious decision to shed your, your common decency to further your own self-interest? You better hope that's not the case for your sake. You better really hope that's not the case. Though, though one can, this is supposed to be one, it says so, I made a mistake. Though one can transcend karma, and much is spoken of this, and it is emphasized. As much as humans transcend karma, bad karma, they also descend into profane, detrimental, negative karma. I don't talk enough about that, because that happens more than you transcend. Don't let your anger, fear, and ignorance allow your ego to tarnish and condemn your soul, and that's what you have been doing. You've been beguiled by the devil, Trump people. I'm a Christian mystic. I've been on this path for a long time now. I don't just willy-nilly come out and say these things. I have a, I'm duty-bound to say these things. Repent. Turn away. Now. Before it's too late. St. Michael is here. Soon, perceptions will shatter en masse. And the world's going to change for the better. For those of us who are of, of the light of compassion, the transition will be a relief. 
for those that are uh, beholden to old Lucifer. Well, they're gonna be really, they're really gonna be up shit creek. So repent and turn away now before it's too late.